Today in Gianlo Zafferano's kitchen, I will prepare one of the most classic and most loved creams, Zamaglione. Let's have a look at the recipe. For our Zabaglione, we are going to use Vinsanto wine, egg yolks and sugar. Contrary to other recipes that are generally made with Marsala wine, I use Vinsanto because it is my home region's fortified wine. I'm going to immediately pour it into a saucepan, where we'll then add half the sugar. I put half the sugar in the Vinsanto because this way I have less mass to eat. Now we'll put the egg yolks in a mixing bowl and I will immediately add the sugar, making sure to whisk it to prevent sugar from making lumps. Always do so when you put sugar in yolks. It is important, as I said before, that the Vinsanto heats up, but we must be careful not to let it heat too much, otherwise the alcohol will cook off. How does one know when it is ready to use, when the sugar begins to dissolve? I'll pour a small amount and I can place the bowl in the bain-marie and pour the rest. It is important to stir it quickly to prevent the hot water from cooking the yolk because I have to cook the whole mixture evenly. The faster I whisk it, the more air my cream will incorporate. It is important to obtain a texture that is both frothy and smooth because it is a zabaglione that is going to be eaten straight away. During cooking, uh, we must achieve pasteurization. The yolk begins to cook at uh, 64 degrees and it is perfect. Remember, it does not have to boil. It is perfect at 82, 83 degrees. How do you recognize 82, 83 degrees? You will recognize it when the lines begin to get thicker. Can you see that it is creating a cream and as soon as you lift it up, See how it clings to it. This means that it is ready. At this point, the ice bath is important. So we are going to cool it in a container that I prepared beforehand. Where I have put some ice because the cooling phase is as important as a cooking process. You see how forth is, smooth it is. It is so luscious, shiny. I have to maintain this texture even during the cooling phase. If you do not cool it quickly, it might form a skin. Because the steam inside, it would form a skin that would result in little lumpy bits, so it would no longer be smooth and creamy. Let's stir it continuously as we did during the cooking phase, only now it's cooling. We had one minute to cook it. We will have one minute to cool it because this amount will cool down to room temperature one minute and then it will be ready to be consumed. Can you see how soft, smooth, cream it is? This is what we need to get from any cream, even more so from Zabaglione, which is the cream par excellence. And here is my nice, light and fragrant zabaglione. Nice to be served with the lady fingers, crunchy cat tongue cookies, as you wish, even as it is. You just had to taste it. Bon appétit.